Folks, crazy dad here. It is again, same time, 20 to, 22, uh, uh, 22, 12 in the afternoon, in the morning. So I just watched a video about Donald Trump. I'm going go off on a tangent here for a moment. Talking about wanting to build a wall between Canada and the U.S. to supposedly solve the drug problem. Um, okay. Last I checked you had drugs coming from Mexico up to the States and from the States down Mexico uh, and in Canada to the States or the States to Canada as far as things like marijuana, etc. So really at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you are, what country you're in, they all have an issue with drugs. A wall is not going to solve that. In fact, if I recall correctly, a while ago, they actually found in Canada a tunnel that went from Canada underground to the states uh, where they popped up somewhere, I think in Oregon somewhere, uh, and that's how they were trafficking the drugs back and forth. So I don't think building a wall is the answer. I really don't. My answer to it would be to legalize it all. Because the reality of it is, is you spend millions and millions of dollars fighting the war on crime and locking people up for minuscule offenses because they had an ounce of crack or an ounce of pot or an ounce of heroin or an ounce of, of crystal meth or an ounce of, uh, you know, God knows whatever else. Legalize it all. I mean, really, I mean, think about it, okay? So in Canada, we are in the process of legalizing marijuana. Now, I don't smoke marijuana. I gave that stuff up years ago. But I don't have a problem with people smoking pot. It doesn't bother me. And if the government's going to make money off of it, which then helps the, the economy and helps the country grow, so why is that a bad thing? In the U.S., you have a billions upon billions spent on law enforcement, guys. They'll find a teeny, tiny, a teeny, 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 tiny roach in somebody's car. Uh, that's a felony, young man. You're going to jail now because you had a teeny, tiny, tiny roach in your car. Really? Is it really worth sending somebody to jail because they had that much marijuana on them? Now, the upside to it, of course, now they get three meals a day, they get an education, and I mean, I'm, I'm presuming they're probably not in there for that long, but I don't know. The judicial system in the States, a little bit messed up sometimes, in my opinion. Although our judicial system is a little bit messed up too. If you kill somebody, you don't get the death penalty because we don't have that here in Canada. We just send you to jail for life or maybe give you a little slap on the wrist. Eight years kind of thing. And I'm being facetious when I say that. My point in all of this is <laughs> everybody has their own unique way of dealing, every country I should say, has their own way of dealing with these uh, drug issues. The thing is we need to address it in a different fashion, okay? We need to basically not get so uptight. Our world is so uptight about this type of stuff. It'll be fine. Anyways, that's my rant, folks. 